Good evening, everyone. Greetings to the Episcopal Church of Our Savior in beautiful Rock Hill, South Carolina. Greetings to Ikus Abroad, our brothers and sisters near and far away. My name is Shannon Wilson. Janie Wilson, your rector, has finished her formal classes today at Sewanee, albeit via Zoom. And even though she still has papers to write, she is persevering in the cause. Today is Thursday, June 25th. A little bit cooler today, a little rain shower up here in Fort Mill. We hope you all are keeping well. We're excited that the Reverend Dale Hathaway will be leading morning prayer again uh, this coming Sunday. Janie will be back in the saddle uh, the weekend of July 4th. So we look forward to seeing all of you there, albeit still at a distance. It's not like it's not unlike being in Advent, uh, the almost but not yet, and that's definitely where we are. And so we hope to be better sooner rather than later. We're grateful for people who are planning and thinking, um, but still have to be careful out there. We still have to look after each other. We continue to do that. Our service this evening is Compline, beginning on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us say together Psalm 31, found on page 129 in your Book of Common Prayer. Let us say this Psalm 31 in unison. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me. O Lord, O God of truth, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turning to page 131. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 
take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Now turning to page 132 in the middle of the page. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And now in the words that Jesus taught his disciples, we humbly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now turning to page 134. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous and all for your love's sake. Amen. Make space now for your own intercessions, thanksgivings, and prayers. Remember all of those named in our parish prayer list. Remember our parish. Remember our convocation, which will be gathered in a Zoom meeting on Sunday afternoon. Jean is, Janie is the dean, will be leading that meeting. I ask your prayers for them, for all of us. Pray for our president, for our governor. for the leaders of our local governments and for all in authority. We give thanks for people who run small businesses, who work in grocery stores and hardware stores, both big box and little box. For others who are considered to be on the front line, in addition to all our healthcare workers, for researchers, for others who help to keep us safe and supplied. Now, returning to the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Almighty and Merciful Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us this night and into eternity. Amen. Take good care, y'all. Be safe. Be well. Abide no hatred. Continue to help your neighbors. Help each other as you're able. And stay, stay close. We'll be here again tomorrow evening on this same Facebook channel, the Episcopal Church of Our Savior. Grateful for all those who have been helping to lead our Compline. Grateful to all of you for being part of it. Good night, y'all. See you soon.